I haven't done a journal entry in what feels like such a long time now. To be honest, the days have been flying by so fast, I feel as though I'm always trying to play catch up with my life recently. We've had so many different things happening at once that I push my own creative energy to the back burner, but I'm so happy to be back here creating and connecting with you all again. Spending winter here by the Ningaloo has felt pretty unreal. We've had countless days spent out on the water. Surfing and diving have become like meditation to me. It's funny to think back on my relationship with the ocean before our time here last year. I always loved it, but often feared it too. But since spending so much time in the ocean over the last year, it has become a place of solace for me. One of the only places in my life that my ego completely drops away and I'm able to be fully present and immersed in the underwater magic. A couple of weeks ago, Reese and I went freediving and both got our personal best dives of 25 metres. If I told my past self that, she would be shocked. with another beautiful sunset view. What are you grateful for today? This massive pot of dinner. <laughs> That's what I'm grateful for. I'm serving like three times. Yeah, pretty special. I'm grateful for yeah all the ocean time and all the quality time and my little fam. Pinny. This little fluff bun. How you doing? There he is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> grateful for this beautiful sunset. Very lucky. Mm. <laughs> The wildflowers are starting to bloom all around this raw landscape and it feels as though they're signifying the shift in seasons. Spring is arising and new life is blossoming all around. I felt this shift within myself recently too. 
and often find myself in a childlike awe of the beauty all around me. I've had so many creative visions flow to me recently that I feel ready to be birthed into the world this spring. Things just seem to feel lighter recently too, after my own internal winter. I welcome change and new beginnings with open arms. I truly find the seasons the most beautiful reminder from the earth that even through times of darkness, the light is always just around the corner. We have puppies and Coda for a couple of hours. This is Coda. This is Vinny's other best friend. <laughs> just be kind, <laughs> They were just chilling. They were chilling. Goes from zero to a hundred very quickly. So we have busily been working away at our little business Soulside Studio recently for our new sustainable print store that is by the time you're watching this now live on Soulside Studio. Uh, we couldn't be more excited we've been wanting to do this for quite a while now it's really cool seeing all the photos that we have collated from our travels around Australia up on our print store and hopefully bringing some life to your beautiful spaces so yeah, I'll put in some clips of when we first saw our photos printed by our amazing printers who are 100% carbon neutral. They go above and beyond to try to do it as sustainably as possible and we only do custom printing so you know there's no waste involved. We don't want our art to cost the environment in any way so yeah they're high high quality pieces printed on hemp paper. I hope you guys love them but I'll put in some clips of when we first saw our prints and we were all so excited they looked like more beautiful than we could have ever imagined so yeah a big moment for Soulside we're super grateful for all your support on our little business so far and we have a discount code that I will leave in the link below if you are wanting to get a print for your space but yeah Ooh, what is it <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. oh, Finn's excited. Oh, Finn's excited. Oh, so exciting. Oh, are they both? They're both in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. This is so exciting. I've always found goodbyes to be the hardest part of this transient lifestyle and it was with very heavy hearts that we farewelled our beautiful friends Project Slow as they continued their life on the road journey. And 
We did have a very exciting visitor joining us on our travels though. And after well over a year and a half, I finally got to see my dad, who is one of my closest friends again. He has been busy building out his own van, which looks incredible. And I'm so excited to say that he's gonna be joining us on our travels for the next little while. Look who it is! It's Papa John! Look at this van! a little van to it. Van at some point. It's a Fiat Ducato. But yeah, Dad's gonna be traveling with us for a bit, which is awesome. Being apart from your loved ones for so long just makes you so grateful for the time that you do get to spend together. I can't tell you how magic it has been spending the last few weeks surfing and exploring this beautiful coastline with my dad here with us. Probably going to be the world's worst video calling. But who cares? I am just taking myself for a tiny walk on the beach. It's dusk, literally about to be dark. And I just feel so alive. It's so beautiful. This is why I choose to live so closely to nature. Sometimes it's so hard and then you have moments like this and it's just like the deepest exhale. Yeah, I don't know, I just feel like, oh, everything is okay. Everything is just fine. And life really is beautiful. And it's these tiny, tiny moments that make it so special. So he's just just romanticizing the shit out of our lives. Because <laughs> why the heck not?